Uh, how looks the start of our the job? First, we must define uh, the targets for what we use the parts. Every cases need the very uh, difficult analyze, very careful analyze. Uh, for what we do the parts. Sometimes we made the lighter parts, sometimes we made the stronger parts and of course we tried uh, every, in every cases we tried to make the beautiful design because the, the, our goal in the company it is made the stronger, lighter but beautiful parts. If we see in the brain the, the imaginary part, uh, we try to download this idea for the computer. Um, this way uh, give us the possibility first uh, design on the design the 3D shape of the parts and after that we can uh, simulate the thickness, uh, the, 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 the property of these parts, uh, but everything is in the virtual world. Uh, our space for the virtual design is uh, NX uh, Simons software. Uh, why we use it this? Because the, this soft uh, is very compatible for the composite business, for the design of the composite parts. Uh, we can um, make the 3D shape, uh, we can make the simulation of the fibers and uh, theoretical we plus minus we know how stronger will be the parts and uh, how will be look the endurance the parts. So after our work in digital environment is finished, we can proceed to prototyping section where we need to produce a prototype. We use 3D printers and sometimes we also mill the prototypes on the uh, CNC uh, mill. So the idea behind the first prototype is to check its shape. You check if it if it goes well with its let's say surroundings. Yeah, the place where it needs to be put in. So if there is no collision, if we like the shape, the design itself of it. So this is the idea of the first prototype. Later during the production, when we are closer to the final production, we produce the second prototype, which is closer to the element that we are going to produce, on which we check other aspects like mechanical resistance and so on. So after our first prototype is checked and we are happy with the result, we can progress to another step which is cre creation, production of the tools. When creating the mold, they are very crucial for our production process because thanks to them our products look the way they look, they are strong as they are and meet our assumptions from the beginning. When we have uh, the beautiful model or molds, uh, in the first case study uh, we made the mold. Uh, what we made after that? Uh, when we have a first the molding parts, we must check how stiff it is. Uh, theoretical design gives us the 80% uh, right uh, decision how many layers how many fibers we use it on the parts. We, we don't speak about the one parts. Uh, sometimes we uh, need the design the, for parts for the econo economical side because the, the, the price for the carbon fibers is very high and uh, we tried to make the optimization of the uh, layers optimization of the use of the parts because not every um, not every parts need the very light ultra light the, the design and uh, we we must use a lot of the tricks and tips for the for the design optimal way because sometimes the customers don't need the, the thermonuclear weapon for the kill the fly. <laughs> so this is the end of the video and I think, I hope you are more familiar right now with the whole process and the uh, things that you need to go through each step while producing the forms and the products and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, goodbye.